Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mahata and today we will understand how to run generalized method of moments that is GMM model also known as a dynamic panel data in eViews. The generalized method of moments is a method for constructing the estimators analogous to the maximum likelihood. GMM uses assumptions about specific moments of the random variables instead of assumptions about the entire distribution which makes GMM more robust than the maximum likelihood at the cost of some efficiency. In short, GMM models are used when we are not sure of the distribution of the dependent variable. The usual approach today when facing the heteroscedacity of unknown form is to use the GMM model. GMM make use of the orthogonality conditions to allow for the efficient estimation in the presence of heteroscedacity of the unknown form. These models are used when there is a presence of endogeneity in the regression models. They are also considered to be the combination of OLS and the two-stage least square method. Now, how to run this model? Let's see in views. So, for this, I'll select the variable which is considered to be the dependent variable first, the GDP export money, open as equation. Now, I'll change this thing to generalized method of moments, also known as a dynamic panel data. Then, I'll click on instruments. So, the instrumental variables are those variables which affect the dependent variable and are exogenous. Normally, the lag values of the independent variables are considered here as the instrumental variables. So I will include here the lag of export, that is export is an independent variable, one lag of export. So normally we write export minus one. It means that we are considering its first lag and money and its first lag. Now we will go in panel options. Here I will activate. See, in GMM, I can activate the fixed effects cross uh, fixed cross section effects random cross section effects but for this video i am going to run on difference so difference cross section make sure that this difference ab1 step is on to have the weightage that to have the gmm weights so we have activated the panel options we have activated the instrument instrumental variables and now again go in specification. Now be very careful. We have to click on a dynamic panel wizard. A window will appear which will guide us for activating the dynamic panel data model. Press next. It is giving me the information that you are considering GDP as a dependent variable. Do you agree? And you want to consider its first lag. Press next. Now in this step, you can also include the period dummy variables if you want to include by just a small tick, including the small tick here. Press the next button. So it will ask for two things that do you want to go for the transformation which is according to the differences or you want to go for the orthogonal deviations. So as we are work, working on GMM differences, we will activate the differences model. Then press the next. So here it will it will inform us that the dynamic panel data based on Erlenda bond type panel data pa dynamic panel instruments will get activated. Press next. So the transform differences will be specified here. Press next. This is basically we are talking only about the independent variable. Press next. Make sure two step. Update weights are activated and white period is on. Press next and press the finish button. Now you can see here that by going through this wizard, 
the new term GDP, that is a lag of dependent variable has been inserted in the original equation. Now go in instruments and you can see here that the dynamic GDP minus two, that is a dynamic panel data has also been activated. Okay, now just press OK and you will get the results. Now you, have, you will have to see the p-value of this coefficients. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject null hypothesis, which means that these variables are significantly influencing the dependent variable, which is a GDP. So you can see here, neither of them are having the p-value more than 0, 0.0, uh, sorry, the p-value less than 0 0.05, and therefore they are not at all significantly contributing towards a dependent variable. The another thing which we have to see is the J statistics. So the J, the, the J test is also called the test for over identifying the restrictions. So if you have more instruments than you need, you can exploit that over identification to test the joint validity of all these instruments. So J statistics is a st statistics for over identification for over identifying the restrictions. J statistics close to zero is a good model. So you can see here it is nearer to zero and it is a good model. And if the probability value, that is the probability of this is also close to zero, it is a good model. So in our case, you can see that both of them, the J statistics also is also nearer to zero and the probability value is also uh, uh, you can say nearer to zero. So it is a good model. So for more videos on panel data regression using eViews, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression using eViews. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. Thank you.